Hello, hello and welcome to our paper, Urticaria Control Test, Real World Performance. My name is Marcus, Marcus Maurer, and on behalf of all of our co-authors, allow me to walk you through this paper. And to do that, you first have to know a little bit about the UCT, gold standard for assessing chronic urticaria patients and the control they have of their disease. It's widely available. I put two links here for you where you can download the UCT or cruise the chronic urticaria self-evaluation app and the UCT is in there. We have uh, more than 90 country and language versions of the UCT. It is recommended by the international guidelines and it is widely used by UCARES and that's exactly the data that we analyzed. What does the UCT look like? Look, it's a simple tool, four questions, five answer options each. You get points, up to four points per answer. That makes 16 points total. The cutoff is 12, cutoff between poorly controlled disease and well-controlled disease. The higher your UCT, the higher your levels of control. Well, we knew that and the UCT has been used in many clinical trials and is widely used in routine clinical practice, but its validity as a scale um, was not previously characterized in a real world setting. So that's what we did in order to inform further use of the UCT and to support better clinical decision making. What do we do? We analyzed uh, more than 1,300 chronic urticaria patients uh, um, who use the UCT here at our UCARE. And then we did uh, three things. You know, we uh, compared the different items of the UCT by Spearman correlation, Kronbach Alpha, for uh, internal consistency. We did a stepwise multiple regression analysis and we did a factor analysis. And the results are remarkable. We found that question one and question two, that's on disease activity and impact, showed the highest correlation. Okay, maybe not a big surprise, but now we do know. We found that the internal consistency was similarly high for other items combination, and no single question was able to predict control without loss of information. And that's important because, well, patients answer all four questions and they need to answer all four questions to get a full picture. Question one was the most significant variable for predicting the UCT score, but all four questions are important and needed. And if you're interested in the details, please go to this table. You can see the different um, relations, the correlation and the Kronbach alpha for items and their combination. So, in summary, we characterized real-world use of the UCT and its properties. It is relevant, it is also valid, and the four questions complement each other. You cannot do it with one question. You also don't need more than those four questions. And, of course, further research is always helpful, especially when it comes to different versions, country versions, language versions of the UCT. So go check out this paper and read all of it and enjoy. Bye-bye.